Hammer time! Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to Sept Hammer. This is the segment I'm doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we will be reviewing a different Hammer film every day in the month of September. Today we're going to be talking about Wakewood. Now, Wakewood is a 2009 film, which runs approximately 90 minutes, and is written and directed by David Keating. Now, he was responsible for a movie that I actually have and I've watched, but I don't really remember that well. And it's called Cherry Tree. Now, this stars Adian Gillian as Patrick, Eva Berthistle as Louise, and Timothy Spall as Arthur. Timothy Spall obviously has the Harry Potter connection. Now, this, of course, was the first theatrical release in 30 years from Hammer, and it had a worldwide gross of $10,342. They did have a something that came out before this, but it was a MySpace webisode, if I remember correctly. Uh, Wakewood is pretty awesome. It's very much has a pet cemetery type of flavor, but I'm going to be honest, I always kind of like this one a little bit better. What you have is a husband and wife who has a little girl, and unfortunately she is killed in a horrific accident. Now they move to Wakewood in order to kind of get a new start. But they find out there's a possibility that there are strange things going into town that could benefit them and heal their grieving. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sure you guys probably get the gist of it. Uh, this is a, it's a really mean-spirited film. But it's also done extremely well. I did read a review on this as we were watching the film. Because I had seen this one other time. And it had been quite some time ago. But for some reason this movie really stayed with me. It's, like I said, it's very mean-spirited. It's very uh, sinister. In how it's put together. And as I was reading this review... The person had said that this is basically old school Hammer. And watching the film and kind of seeing it that way, I definitely agree. Now, there was difference a difference in the filming style back then, because of course this was 30 years later. But I really do agree. It was kind of a laid back tale that wasn't as in your face. As some of the other movies that came out after. They were just getting established again after a 30 year period. And to be honest, I thought this was a great entry. And one that very seldom ever gets talked about. Um, if you can find a copy of this, definitely check it out. Uh, Wakewood is a really, really good piece. That is like another film, but has a lot of originality of its own. And don't forget to check out Joe's review of Wakewood. Remember guys, physical media matters. And until next time, peace.